If you were in the market to buy and sell, I'm sure you have read in the headlines about all the drama going on with the realtor commissions, the realtor fees and whatnot, as far as the sellers paying for the buyer's agent. So there's a huge lawsuit. If you're not familiar with it, I would probably go and read up on it a little bit and see exactly what's been going on in the real estate industry when it comes to realtor fees. So this is a really good thing for home sellers. So in the past, when someone wanted to sell their house, you would come to a listing agent like myself and say, okay, I wanna list my house. And I would say, this is my fee and this is what I charge. Of course, commission is always negotiable, just like any type of service, like, like a realtor um, or an attorney or anything like that. So it is always negotiable, but for each individual person, they may have a standard fee of what they, what they charge for their services for what they provide. So before you say, okay, Brandy, I want to hire you to sell my house. And I say, this is my fee out of that fee. I would offer a buyer's agent commissions to entice buyer's agents to come. And we would upload that into the MLS. Well, this huge lawsuit is saying that some sellers were not aware that they were actually paying for the buyer's agent, um, representation. Um, and so it ended up being a huge lawsuit and they are settling um, as long as the judge approves it, but they came to an agreement to settle for $400 million. Now this is really, really huge. This is also going to hopefully stop I think it is going to stop all of the copycat um, lawsuits that it's just trickling down and it's kind of like a spiraling um, crapshoot, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but it actually is benefiting the, the sellers and it's going to force if a buyer is out looking for a house and wants to go see a house before they go with their buyer's agent, they're going to have to sign a buyer's agreement saying that that buyer is willing to pay that realtor to go out and show them houses because the seller is not able to put that in the MLS saying that I'm willing, they're not willing to pay. They're not being forced to pay a buyer's commission where before it was kind of known, I guess that's where the lawsuit comes in. They're saying that they were forced to do it. And so now when you sell your house, we are no longer allowed to put in the MLS that we're offering a buyer's agent's commission. So when you call me to list your house, you will only pay one fee and it will be to me to list your house. Um, and if the buyer's agent um, will have an agreement with their buyer and when they come to put in an offer, kind of like closing costs, a lot of times they're just gonna come in and say, okay, we offer you X, Y, Z for your house and we need this much money in closing concessions. Um, it might be, you know, this much towards closing costs, this much to help me pay for my realtor. Um, and at the end of the day, the seller can say, yes, I'm willing to pay that or no, I'm not willing to pay it. So, um, it is a pretty big change in my opinion. I don't think that it's going to change too much. If a seller wants to sell the house, um, there's going to be buyers out there that just don't have the money to pay their buyer's agent. So either our buyers aren't going to be able to buy houses or if the seller wants to sell the house, they're going to be willing to negotiate some of those fees up front. Your fees are going to be typically probably lower. Um, and then you'll just have to negotiate in what you're willing to pay the buyer's agent. So, I mean, I kind of agree with this. I feel like it should have been like this all along. They have some realtors that, um, you know, charge, charge more and they typically would, but then they go to show a house and that agent is not offering that much. Um, so, and then vice versa. To sum it up, um, there's gonna be some big changes coming in the, in the real estate industry, and this is going to go into effect Jul in July or June, June or July of this year. So as of June, a seller is not gonna be able to provide a commission to the buyer's agent. So in the MLS, it's not gonna be able to be listed in there. So this is going to um, change a lot of things. It's gonna probably shift the market. It's gonna, there. it's a lot of gray area right now. I don't know if they panned out all of the details, um, but as things come along, I will do videos and try to explain it to the best that I can um, with the information that I'm provided. 
So if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm Brandy Nichols. I'm with GL Realty. Um, I have a team, a Brandy Nichols group, and um, we are happy to help in any way. My cell number is 504-390-3381. Um, if you want to email me, it's brandy at brandynicholsgroup.com. Um, so I will inform y'all as more things come up about this. Bye.